Ukraine destroyed $200 million worth of Russian missiles in one day. On July the 8th, Russia launched a massive missile strike on Ukraine. Russia spent about $200 to $250 million on this, Forbes reports. The article states that the Russian Federation launched 38 air, sea and land-based missiles at Ukraine. One KH-47M2 Kinzhal aero-ballistic missile, four Iskander-M ballistic missiles, one 3M22 Zircon cruise missile, 13 X-101 cruise missiles, 14 caliber cruise missiles, 2 X-22 cruise missiles, 3 guided aircraft missiles, KH-59 stroke KH-69. At the same time, the Ukrainian Air Force managed to destroy 30 of the 38 missiles. The cost of the downed missiles is estimated at between 160 million and 200 million dollars. According to the Kiev School of Economics, as of May 2024, due to the full-scale Russian invasion, Ukraine's energy sector suffered direct losses and indirect financial losses amounting to $56.2 billion, the article says. American F-16 fighters will help Ukraine defend itself from Russian missile terror. It is also necessary to strike military aircraft while they are still on Russian territory. This opinion was expressed by military expert Pavel Narozny in a commentary to Focus. According to him, the Russian invaders are looking for ways to overload Ukraine's air defense in order to break through it and strike the necessary targets. Based on the command's statistics, it is clear that the capabilities of Ukrainian air defense systems are insufficient. The West needs to immediately pay attention to the problem and begin supplying long-range weapons. It is better to destroy Russian aircraft at airfields, he believes. Several dozen F-16 fighters will also help cover the skies from Russian massive shelling, the expert says. Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands and Norway have promised to transfer about 80 F-16 multi-role fighters to Ukraine. The exact dates for sending the first birds are unknown, but this should happen this summer. Earlier, the head of the Danish Air Force, Jan Dam, reported that some of the Ukrainian specialists who were trained to service Western fighters are already in Ukraine. Russian army to deploy barrage balloons to protect against Ukrainian drones. Russia is planning a network of indicator balloons inspired by the First and Second World Wars to thwart Ukraine's daring drone attacks, the Telegraph reports. The Russian aerospace firm says it has already begun testing balloons capable of holding a net that it hopes will provide protection against long-range strikes that have badly damaged energy infrastructure and other key targets inside Russia. The balloons are designed to launch from hangars, rise quickly in a row and then drop a 250 meter high net to form a protective cordon. Our main activity is the construction of cargo airships, but today relying on the experience of our ancestors, we have created the barrier protection system, said Paulina Albeck, CEO of First Airship. She said the balloons had already been tested and that her company had received an order. Each balloon can float up to 300 meters above the ground and has a maximum payload of 30 kilograms, enough to carry a lightweight net that hangs just above the ground. The balloons can also be equipped with radar, electronic jammers and video cameras that provide 360 degree coverage with a range of up to 7 miles. These capabilities provide significant vertical coverage, creating an effective barrier against low-flying drones that threaten sensitive areas. Drones cannot see the mesh, it is too thin for them, Albeck emphasized. In April, Forbes reported that Ukraine was attacking Russia with droppable balloons. Such weapons are cheap, but their destruction requires an expensive missile. According to Russian Telegram channels, Ukrainian balloons are appearing in the skies over regions of Russia bordering Ukraine. Some of them can carry radar reflectors to attract the attention of air defense systems. According to the Russian publication MASH, each balloon also has a GPS tracker, ballast, batteries and control electronics with attack coordinates programmed into them. Forbes notes that unguided balloons have seen limited use in some wars over the past two centuries, including by Hamas, to start fires in Israel. While their impact is generally limited, these balloons place a much heavier burden on the defender than the attacker. The author writes, Earlier, Russian Federation had announced the shooting down of a kamikaze balloon. It could probably have been a Russian balloon brought down by friendly fire. 